the door thinking she welcomed me with open arms, but she had a new life and a new name. Maureen Prescott. You were the only child she claimed, Sydney. She shot me on the cold forever. Her own son. Oh my god, it's hot. <laughs> I got started collecting all this Scream stuff. It was in sixth grade. My friends all like, yeah, there's this movie I watched and it's really good. And right after school, I was like, Grandma, you have to take me to the movies to go watch Scream. The next day I went out and I purchased a Scream mask. All these masks that I've collected over the years. And you know, if you were to touch these masks, they're all made differently. You know, the material and they smell differently and the eyes, the shape of the eyes, the mouth. To a regular person that would see this right now in my room, they'll just think I'm crazy, they're all, it's all the same math, but really it's not, they're all different in their own way. We drove all the way to Las Vegas to get Scream masks, <laughs> and we only got like six of them. Okay. This is what we went traveling for, they come in different colors. He, he rents out a car probably for, I don't know, for an amount of like 30 bucks, wasted gas for like 60 bucks to go purchase masks that cost what, like five, ten bucks. Yeah. So if you think about it, like it wasn't worth the trip. You know, I don't care what people think, you know. It makes me happy and that's all that matters. What I'm doing is both a hobby and an obsession. When I see something that has to do with Scream, I feel like I have to get it. I won't stop thinking about it until I get it. And then when he finally gets it, it's like, okay, what's the next thing? He kind of moves on to the next <laughs> item. One of my most prized possessions in the film Scream is the Scream 2 rope. Mom, guess what? He goes, I bid on something. And when I ask him how much it is, I'll tell him, wow, you're so crazy. After I pay my bills and, you know, I have some spending money, I think I spend at least 25% of my check goes to Scream merchandise or memorabilia or props. I'd say like 90%. <laughs> he then told him, how come you spend so much money on those ugly faces? <laughs> when they see me spending all this much money on things, they're just like, are you crazy? I'm very excited for the premiere tomorrow for Scream 4. It was so hard to get tickets for this. I tried sweepstakes, I tried contests, and no luck. Website mentioned they were giving out premiere tickets. Whoever comes to the store are gonna get tickets to the premiere or Scream 4. I freaked out and I threw on my shoes. Didn't even brush his teeth, he just ran out of here. Went straight to his car and drove over there for the Scream ticket. <laughs> oh my god, we finally got tickets for this premiere. What I do for a living is I'm an, oh shit. Well, that's better, right? What I do for a living is I'm an editor that cuts, you know, movie trailers and TV spots for big movies. Right now we're in Burbank, California, and we're at a new trailer company called Green Monster Advertising. I'm on the Scream website, just seeing if there's any new news about the film. But I pretty much read everything, so nothing new. I'm going to the premiere for Scream, and um, I didn't. I'm not. I didn't bring my costume because I'm really. I'm very nervous. I brought my book from Scream 4, so hopefully I can get Nev to sign it, so yeah. Right now my friends are waiting in line in Hollywood, and after work I'm heading to the Scream 4 premiere. <laughs> Very nervous. I'm like, I can't eat anything solid because I'm gonna throw it up. If I don't get into the Scream premiere, I'm gonna be really pissed off, you know, I got these tickets, that was one thing, but to get into the premiere is a totally different thing, so I'm just hoping that I actually get a seat. I'm here to uh, hopefully get into the Scream 4 premiere. I came because my boyfriend wanted to go to see this movie. <laughs> I had to watch uh, Robert Pattinson try to act, so uh, I'm gonna bring her wow. here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate horror movies, but it's like the one like scary movie franchise that I've watched. Scream revolutionized the horror genre. It reinvigorated it when it was dead and there was nothing new going on. But there's cute people in it. I mean, Courtney Cox and Adam Brody's in this one. He's hot. Well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I know, I really want him to be here tonight. <laughs> we got here like around 12, 1 o'clock. It's now 5 and uh, we just want to get here early to see if we could get some seats. I the screen for premiere. I finally got out of work. Now I'm going to wait in line. Hopefully, hopefully we get in.
it was a long day. All the tickets went out, and uh, there wasn't enough tickets left for us. We didn't get into the premiere for Scream. How long was everybody waiting in line? My friends were waiting, I think, since 12. And, um, okay. and then I was working. You know, I got out of work or kind of a few hours early. All that work, you know, trying to get tickets and shit like that, it's like, for what? We didn't get in. So. Oh.